So today we've got the ladies in. They'll be working on their projects. One lady built a letterbox for herself. She was just so wrapped with that because somebody had smashed her letterbox in her neighbourhood and she built one that's gonna take a bit of smashing. So the shed's set up as a joinery. It's got all the woodworking gear. It's got thicknesses, buzzers, lathes, bandsaws. To be honest, there's very little I could ask for more in the way of machinery. It's, it's beautifully set up. Anything you want to make, if you could think of making it, you could basically build it here. It's nice to see some of the ladies come in, who, oh, I don't know what to do, I've never done this. The next minute they're making something beautiful. They're all off doing their own things. Now one's making a toy box for her granddaughter and another lady's making a, the most elaborate dog bed I've ever seen in my life. We're a good community. We look after each other, and it's a good, safe place to be. I was doing a woodwork program here back when I was 27, and I've been here for 18 years. I help out with being a supervisor to help people with their projects and to make sure that, you know, they have a good day when they come here. It gets you out and about, being able to serve with the community and helping people in the community. talking to the women. It's a really good place. They learn tools that they haven't been able to learn before. I think women have missed that. You know, men, it's normal to go into a workshop and do stuff, whereas women, we don't get that opportunity very often. It's just giving women a space where they feel safe and they can learn to use tools and equipment to be able to take away something that they've built and have ownership of that, which is really lovely. The thing I've learned about myself coming from a joinery background before I got into the social type stuff, a lot of things don't go hand in hand with standard joinery practices, but it's the person's artistic side being put into things and uh, just uh, let them make it how they see it and then they're proud of how it comes up. So yeah, I guess I've, I've learned to let go a bit and my idea is not always the way it goes. That's fine. It's been going for 20 years or something and it's, it's been doing very well, so we need that to keep happening. The people who come here don't pay for any of their timber. There's nothing much out of pocket and they can take some great stuff home. And that's through the generosity of the communities, the Tape Colleges, the Red Shield Appeal. That's what the Salvo stand for, is be able to provide that safe space for people. For me, it solidified what the Salvation Army is about. Stuff like this really highlights for me what we're here for. It's about caring for people and building a community.